housing is that uh, you're you're looking out for your neighbours. You're bringing back that neighbourly support that was swept away. So we our idea is to build about 70, 16 apartments, which would be completely private um, and hopefully modular, energy efficient, within um, dementia-friendly grounds. That sounds, but. We, we, you have to take everything into account, um, a ra raised beds, vegetable garden, some nice little walks, maybe, you know, something for, for less well-sighted people, a scented walk. This will all have to come in stages if we could first get enough to secure the land and build. Um, again, another major feature of co-housing is the shared space. So we envisage a multi-purpose room where we could have shared meals, meetings, a bit of fun and games, and, uh, and then also yeah, a shared guest room where visitors could come and a shared laundry. This would all cost, co cut costs and hopefully a car pool. So yeah, wow. this is the, the sort of essence of co-housing. Sounds amazing. So if, if we, we could possibly be looking at more buildings oh, absolutely. coming up I mean, within can, Hastings across the board. Money is the only, you know, that's the big bugbear, but yes, we could. It's the way forward for, for many types of people to you know that want to live cooperatively. What, what are the benefits of living cooperatively, do you think? Oh my goodness, there are multitudes, multitudes. Um, so that you can share things, um, whether it's tools or knowledge. It's good for us, it's good for the planet, what's not to like. You know, we're burning up. So yeah, buy less, share more.